Good morning, everybody. It is a Monday, the 1st of July. I cannot believe it. We are literally halfway through the year now. Um, I am getting ready to film my completed colouring pages and my haul uh, for May and June. Got the stack of books here, got a few supplies. I'm going to get the big camera out and set that up in a minute. I'm going to go and put the other last week's weekly vlog, such as it is, on. Um, yeah, and see what's happening and get that, I'm gonna put that on the computer so I can get it edited and up to date. And then I'm going to get this lot filmed today so it's done. And then I'm hoping tomorrow to film my reading book haul and my other haul not haul, my reading, what I've read. Um, I'm hoping around Wednesday should be getting a parcel, so I'll be opening that on camera, it's colouring related. Um, you will have seen it by now, so you know that it's a bunch of pro markers, so it doesn't make any difference. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna film opening them, and then um, <clears throat> I'll add them to the pro marker swatch, and then any that I've already got duplicates of, I'll swatch them onto a separate piece of paper just to see if they're working. Um, according to the person I'm buying from, they are working. It's just um, some of them haven't been used. I'm just going to have a look at them. So I am going to crack on and I'll see you in a bit. So I've done my filming. I filmed three videos and I'm going to now, um, I've put away most of the books. I've got some pens to put away. Um, but I'm going to put away the two Ava Brown colouring books so that they're out of the way. They go in here. Hopefully we'll get a new one soon. So I'd love to see what they're going to do next. Um, got my plastic sheets to put them in and I'm going to do that now. Then I'll put the rest of the pens away and then I'm going to sort out my reading journal. I've got some books to add in June and I've got uh, that I've obtained before I can do my filming, um, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow. Uh, for my book stuff and then I want to update the journal with what I read in June or some of it anyway and do a bit more later so I can get July's ready because you never know when I'll start buying books in July try not to though there's a cat very dark Zed with little eyes Your little eyes you my baby you don't do a lot do you hey you don't do a lot Well, no, she's quiet. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with that and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I have put all the stuff away in the folders for now. I'm just having a little play on my game on my phone before I do the next bit, which is start working on the reading journal to get that up to date. Though not the pictures, I will do those another time. Last night I did finish reading Blindsighted by Karen Slaughter, which was really good. So that was the last book I finished in, in June. So the, today I have started reading uh, The Emerald City of Oz, book six in the Wizard of Oz collection by Al Frank Baum. So far I'm enjoying it. I've only read a few chapters. I'm not very far into it. I am literally halfway through War and Peace now so what I'm going to do is once I've done a little bit on my um, reading journal I'm going to read a couple of chapters of War and Peace. I do like to read a little bit every day. I want to finish it before the end of the year and I am on tr track to do so. Same with my Goodreads challenge. I am now at 90 books for the year. My total is 175. It's the end of the half. So if I read another 90 books like I did in the first half I will beat it by five. It might go, I might read more than that I might read a bit less but I'm, I'm on track to actually hit it and exceed it so that's all good um not going to mum's this morning going at tea time because she said because you've had a busy weekend take today have a rest I'm fine I'll see you at tea time and um then I'll do a championship and, and, and that's fine so I'm going to take today just chill out I've got one parcel to post just I'm not doing eBay really, so every now and again I have a sale, so I better post it. I'll probably take it all down soon and just uh, might do a car boot sale or something, try and get rid of something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go play my game for a little while and then I'm gonna work on my reading journal before reading a couple of chapters of War and Peace. Hey guys, it's all good. I've been, like I said, I did a fair bit this morning. I did have a little doze after. I've got a stack of books I've not coloured in at all. I think, how many have I got? I've got one downstairs, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more here, as well as some I've already coloured in, and I've pulled out, because I know everybody does 
Christmas in July. I don't normally do Christmas in July. I, I might colour up one odd picture. But I thought, I haven't coloured in this book for years, so I'm going to try and colour a picture a week. So, but the first one I'm going to... Oh, I like that one as well. The first one I'm probably going to do is a two-page spread, so that I could do that in two weeks, technically. And I think... I might do. I might change my mind yet. You never know. I'll have a look through it. Most of what I've done in here, I've used either gel pens or ink tents and watercolour, which I like. But there's two spades, sprayed, blah, 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 spread of baubles going across it, and I was thinking I could use the Calm Over Chaos pens in that, and it would look so nice. So, yeah, so I've done some with gel and some with ink tents and some with watercolour, so I am definitely colouring in that one because, yeah. I have got a couple of Christmas pages I've started in some grayscale books. I might have a little bit of a go on them as well. But I want to colour a bit in this book. So I have, I've coloured a few, but not many. So I thought, I'm going to do this. I haven't even finished the title page, which I have started. I don't class title pages as a whip. I might have a go at that with the glitter gel pens as well. So I'm going to take all these books down. Huge pile, huge stack of books to be getting on with. Going to take them downstairs and see what happens. Well, everybody, that's Monday done. I've just had a shower, dried my hair. Jennifer's here with me playing on a very weird game. Um, I'm going to well, I'm chill out in bed and uh, <clears throat> read a bit of War and Peace and a bit of uh, Emerald City of Oz. I'm fed up of arguing with idiots who don't do research and assume that everything you read in the tabloids is true with regards to Marilyn's death. Now, um, I wasn't there. So I can only go on the evidence that I've read and to me it all points towards it was a suicide. Whether it was intentional or not, I don't know. Uh, but she did it herself. Um, we've, it's definitely been disproved that there was any kind of uh, affair with Kennedy, either of them. And the fact that her doctor had prescribed over 700 sedative drugs to her in the last in the two months before she died, literally within 60 days. It's just mind-numbingly dull. You don't do that to somebody who has a history of attempting suicide, which is what he did. So, all right, babe. Yeah, good girl. So I'm going to just uh, chill out and read, and I'll see you all tomorrow when it's Tuesday, and we'll do some other stuff. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, the second of July, and I am sitting in. Spare bedroom, office library. I am just editing some videos. I'm going to have to sort out these shelves soon because they're a right mess. Um, I have got a shelf to put back on. Maybe I'll do that in a minute and then it'll be done out of the way. <sighs> I'm useless. Oh uh, well, I'm just, it's not useless. I haven't got the energy to do a lot of stuff. I've been tidying up the big table downstairs, the dining table, because basically Jennifer comes from school, everything gets dumped on there. It ends up covered in pictures and stuff and, and letters from school. So it's all tidied up now. There's some still some stuff on there that needs to be put away. But she's got so much stuff, I'm going to have to get it all out. Go through it, throw away anything that's damaged, broken or missing pieces. And uh, tidy it all up properly, get it all out, sort it all out again. Um, I've just brought up my scanning stuff so I can set up my scanner. Get some stuff scanned up here because... Uh, I got more, well I haven't got much space, but I have got space to do it, whereas downstairs pulls on the desk all the time and I don't get no chance to get there, so I've got it set up here. So once I get everything sorted and I'm into some sort of routine, in the fact that I am so tired most days that I go back to bed for an hour after dropping Jen off. Today I didn't do that, I went and hung the washing out, put another load on, I'm hoping to get that out before I go to Mum's, but if not I'll put it on at lunchtime when I come back and it'll still probably be dry because it's quite a nice day, so. But that's exhausted me and I feel really tired now, so. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this video editing, uploading videos and stuff. Um, I do have some more videos to make. I'm not worrying about doing it right now because I've got plenty to be going on with. Uh, I probably will film tomorrow. Or maybe this evening. I'll see how I feel. Um, tomorrow's a good day, though, because Jennifer should be going to Taekwondo. So if she does go, I should be able to do some filming then, maybe. I've got a lot to do. I'm going to yawn. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, there we go. I'm going to crack on and I'll see you later. So I'm back from Mum's after doing a lunch and I've started tidying up these shelves and giving them a dust. It's not finished, 
but I've done most of that one. I just haven't done the top yet, but that's a different story. And there are some books on the form that need to be sorted out, which are notebooks, so you've got to go somewhere else. So this is the next one. As you can see, I've put the shelf in and I've got some books on the shelf. So at least that's done. Um, the whole point of it is there are books that won't fit on that shelf because they're too tall, but then I have other shorter books that will, so I can, uh, jostle them around as and when I need to which is the point so I'm just looking at things now so as you can see that's empty up there um, I've got a load of rubbish on here I'm gonna do this one tomorrow give it a clean as well and then there's stuff here as well a mug and, and there's just stuff everywhere so I'm just gonna go through all the stuff dust the shelves and get it sorted and then I've got this one over here which is sort of mishmash of Marilyn colouring books and fictional books for, about Hollywood um, mostly Marilyn but as you can see there's all sorts of stuff on the shelves and they need a good dust lots of colouring books colouring book shelf is okay and then I have to do the bookcases the other side so yeah so we look over here they all need a good dust in all my colouring books Got a load of books downstairs to colour in, most of which haven't been coloured in um, full. So I will be using uh, those. I've picked out uh, the next picture I'm going to colour after the, the one in Johanna's Christmas. I've picked that out. I know which one I'm doing. I've started it. And I've picked one from Deborah Muller's Artsy Girls. So I'm looking forward to that. So can't remember which one it was now offhand. But I, I, when I see it, I'll know. <laughs> Hopeless, I tell you. But yeah, I've got lots of books to colour in that I want to colour in this month. So, and like I said, I read a good five chapters of War and Peace yesterday, so I'm really happy with that. But I'm going to crack on so I can do some more filming. Hey, everybody, it's Wednesday, the 3rd of July. It's actually Wednesday afternoon. I forgot to vlog this morning. Um, to be honest, I didn't sleep very well, so I went back to bed. Um, what's been going on? Well, I went to my mum's. Um, I did some shopping for her and then I went to Mum's. I went to Tesco to get cat food, get some shorts for Paul and some tops for Mum for when we go on holiday. Um, I'm tired, I'm you all. Yeah, I didn't sleep very well at all last night. Hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. Um, the markers came and I'm currently filming a video about them. I've started it at home. Um, like I said, um, I'll film the rest of it later when Jennifer's at, hopefully at Taekwondo if she goes, because she was tired this morning as well. Um, so I've got them out of the boxes and I've swatched them and they are, uh, they're a brand called Letraset, which were actually taken over by Windsor and Newton. And Letraset markers were called Pro Markers and then Windsor and Newton kept the name. I haven't figured out what year. I'm going to try and find out what year they took over. Um, a lot of them have the same colour number and name, so for instance Soft Peach, which is one I just bought, it's all in the video, it's great. Um, I'm going to try and film, if I get a chance, my, my reading wrap up tonight as well, if not I'll do it tomorrow. Um, I've got lots of ideas, I want to finish these Ice Icon uh, camera video, and how I've found the roll of film, I just haven't got around to doing anything with it, so I might have a go at uh, just uh, putting stuff away in the kitchen so I can get to the sink and, and develop the roll of film, do a bit of filming on it. Um, yeah, I'm so tired, but I want to do um, what about the roll of flex tea, I want to do my camera collection as it stands now. There's the Somebody's asked me to do a video of Marilyn books you shouldn't buy. Um, somebody asked for an updated Marilyn bookshelf tour. I want to do a Hollywood bookshelf tour. I could do my Jack the Ripper book collection, uh, my Egypt, Egypt book collection. I've got so many videos that I want to do, but it's having the time. So I'm trying to do a little bit each day. I want to do a colour and chat soon so I can finish off that picture I was doing. And now I've got these new markers as well. I'm hoping they're all going to work. There were four blenders in there, were 61 pens in all. Four were blenders, which I do not have a problem with because I use blenders for blending pencils. So if you want to see how I do that, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, do a video on it. And basically it's for when I'm doing big areas like of sky and stuff like that. 
but I'm happy to show you. But I'm gonna go now play my game before I pick up Jen and then I'll spend an hour with Jen before going to do mum's tea and then I'll carry on filming the Pro Mark video. I look red, don't I? Um, hi guys, I've just finished filming the marker video um, where I have unboxed and swatched the Lectra set, I have to think about it, Pro Markers, Pro, they were originally owned by, a, well, they were originally called by Lectra set, which is a company that makes sort of like plastic stencils and in 2012 Lectra set marker division was taken over by the company that owns Windsor & Newton Windsor & Newton Pro Markers Lectra set Pro Markers, they are identical um, in shape and thing. The, the labels are pretty much different but the, the tips are the same um, but there's the full video will either be up on the channel already or it'll be there soon so do check it out I've now got to sort all these pens away and you know sort them out put them away I have got a case for duplicates I'm gonna have to find it and then there are I want to sort out the box and then there are a few that aren't on the Williams and Newton list because they were limited edition markers which are really cool to have because there's some really good colours in there so I'm going to crack on with that and then I'm going to go and sit with Jen and pull downstairs Hi! It's actually Friday Yes, I know what happened to Thursday Well, I kept forgetting to pick the camera up First of all, I forgot where it was and then I forgot to pick it up but anyway, not a lot happened, you see Well, there's a general election that happened I'm really tired because I stayed up most of the night watching the results come in because I'm an idiot um, so this morning we now have a new government. We've gone from blue to red, which is from Tory to Labour. So we've gone from right to left, but we have to see um, because there's no real left anymore. So uh, it was on a landslide. They had like 400 and well, 10 votes. I went back to bed because I was obviously didn't sleep very much. Um, I'm not actually sure what the actual outcome was, but uh, yes, they they had a 410 when I finished when I went to back to bed this morning after dropping Jenna for at school, so, which is huge, huge majority, and there's uh, 650, 50, 650 seats, all constituencies, and uh, they needed 326 to form a government to beat the Tories, so as you can tell, they really beat them. Anyway, I'm off to see Mum, I'm still really tired though. <sighs> <laughs> Hey everybody, so I've been to Mums, I'm waiting to get Jennifer now, there's a school fate today so obviously I can't take you in there because there are safeguarding issues with some of the children which is totally understandable um, I think it smells really nice, really sweet perfume or something it's just wafted in through the windows because the windows open because it's quite muggy it's not hot, it's just muggy um, I've been to my mum, she's fine and my older brother is, is with her now um, he's staying until around 5 o'clock with her and then he's going back to his mate's house for the night which is great, I mean, I don't know how she, she's had a meal, he, he got her fish and chips for, from the chip shop at lunchtime, I normally do that in the evening on a Friday, so <clears throat> she's fine, she'll get something to eat later, but she can manage on her own, so I can have an evening off with Jen, which would be nice. Um, I, I, I love my older brother, but he's very right wing. It's completely different for me, I'm like my dad, I have left leanings. Um, I don't... I'm not going to get into too many politics, but I don't, you know, obviously uh, we've had Labour landslide uh, and he says, oh, you're all screwed now. I'm like, oh, OK, we weren't last time they got in. We won't be this time because, you know, when he goes on reform of the better, I say, but they are racist and misogynistic. Now, I'm not saying that we need to, we don't have to do something about immigration because we do, but. Uh, I think it would be hard to stop, I think it's hard to stop the boats come in, however it's done, you know, from the channel, it, it is going to be hard, no matter what. Uh, whatever party's in power, there's only one way to really stop them, and uh, it's against the European Court of Human Rights, so I, I wouldn't go with that either. But, you know, we can't, couldn't go on the way we were. Well, the fact that Reform were describing women, or some of the members of Reform, women are sponges, they shouldn't get medical care because they're sponges. How are women sponges? They, they work, they pay tax just like uh, men, um, unless they're sick or disabled. I, I, and I don't understand it. 
it, it makes no sense to me, but then they're, they're men and some men are just idiots. Not all, obviously. Um, I know lots of great men, um, but yeah, I love Richard, he's my brother. It's just difficult, particularly to clean He's also um, um, in the Masons and he's he's a religious type person, which I'm not. I'm more, I am more like my dad than uh, Richard and Chris. And I'm proud of that. I'd rather be like my dad. Well, I'm like my mum too, obviously, but my dad was a great human being who cared about people. He cared about, yes, he had his moments and, you know, but he wasn't, he didn't care whether people were black or white or gay or straight. Maybe made a addition with the wokeness that we have now. Um, I certainly <clears throat> think maybe there is something to say about that, but diversity is good. We all need to learn about, because, yeah, the thing is, Richard loves Africa. He'll be going back out there this year because he's got a business out there and he knows a lot of black people and he's friends with these black people. And I'm just like, uh, sometimes I don't get it, but um, I take people for who they are and how they treat me and other people. Treat me fine, treat other people fine, and I'll treat you fine. Respect us both ways. You don't need to be at the point being nasty. Be nice, be helpful, be kind. Most of all, be kind. I think that's the most important thing. We're not on this planet for a long time, so let's make it easy on everybody, as easy as we possibly can. Treat everybody right. Anyway, I'm going to put this down now and uh, just do a bit of doom scrolling while I wait for pick-up time. From the feet now, and Jennifer's got her face painted with a little rainbow and a cloud. It's so cute. Can we see Jen? Yeah, we're gonna have some McDonald's in a minute, we babe. And we're watching Horrid Henry, so it's a good evening all round, as far as I'm concerned. Hello, gang. It is Saturday. We had a lovely evening yesterday, me and Jennifer. We watched TV in bed, snuggled up because Daddy was out watching the Mannix and swayed at Cardiff Castle. <clears throat> My brother was home, I had a lovely lunch with him and my mum went to the fete, it was really good. We're having a major clean today and tidy up. Mostly downstairs but I'm up here doing a little bit at the moment. I might be going back down in a minute. So, next door's building a new house by the sound of it. I swear you might as well have knocked that one down and built another one. I'm going to mum's later to sort out her tea. But as I finished blindsided I thought I'd give this a a wiggle. I can't really shake it because there's too much in there and scrape around and see what I can find. Here we go. I don't know what it is. I dread to think. Could be something majorly huge. There are a few really big books in there. Hopefully something good. It's written in red and it is called Oh the Other Berlin Girl, Philippa Gregory. Now I know that's quite chunky. I'm pretty sure that's right here on the shelf. Let me grab it. So here it is. It is a quite a chunker. It's actually hang on, about 660 pages long, but you know, we like big books, so we will put it in there. Not, I'm not going to say when I'm going to get to it, but it, it, it will be started sometime this month. I've got my still stack of books that I haven't really been working through. So Tess Garrett and Terry Pratchett, C.L. Taylor, Colleen Hoover, Lisa Jewell, Lucy Foley and Brandon Sanderson. It will go in there somewhere. I'm actually currently reading this. I have kind of an issue with it that I'm not sure about because um, he claims that in Niagara she wears the same robe that Jean Harlow wore in Dinner at Eight but I'm pretty sure it's not the same roof, <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know where he got that. I don't know if there's any sources at the back. No. Uh, I would like to know where he got that from because it's not something I've ever heard before. I know that there is, it is a satin gown and I know that there are feathers on it, which are on jeans, but it's not the same sort of material um, from what I can see. I might be wrong. I don't think I am, though. <laughs> so I'm going to go back downstairs, do a bit more downstairs. I'm just, I've just had a bit of a tidy up up here. So I am looking for a few things uh, to do that I need. So, but yeah, so the other Billing Girl, that's what we're going to be reading off of our very old TBR next. It's about three, three years, not that old, it's about three years old. 
So it's one of the newer ones in there. But that, that's fine. I mean, I even bought a Jack the Ripper book because I wanted to read something about Jack the Ripper. And uh, all my Jack Rippers are in there as well. So I guess I could pull something off of there that if I fancy reading it, I might just do that. Just, and then if I pull it, I can say, well, I've read this one. So, you know, yeah, I might do that. You never know. Anyway, I'm going to crack on because I've got to go to mum's later and sort her tea out. Anyway. Hey guys, um, we've just had tea. Oh, it's lovely. I'm boiling and sitting with the fan on. Uh, Paul's watching the football downstairs because he went out last night. I'm going to have a bit of an evening to myself. He's got Jennifer. So I'm upstairs in the bedroom, sitting in bed. And I've got my books. I've got some colouring books I'm going to colour in. I haven't decided which ones yet. I've got Women's of Cool Worlds by Ava Brown. Tiny Animals by Jade Summer. Space by Hannah Carlson. And the Crayola Bumper Fun colouring book. Probably going to colour in the Crayola one first because I know it's really dinky and cute and sweet and it won't take me long to actually colour the picture. I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube so there's some colouring uh, like the end of month ones. I've got an itch. Um, so yeah so I'm finishing the, uh, just going to watch some completed colouring pages videos and stuff that I haven't watched yet and just chill out. Tomorrow Sunday I'm going for a curry with my brother. We're all going. I might change the sheets because I'm bound to have a shower at some point. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I'm just going to sit and, and have a chill out and a colour. So I'll see you in a bit. Guys, it's Sunday. <sighs> and uh, it's been a really chilled day to be honest. I've been colouring and uh, did a bit of diamond painting. Not a lot. I'll show you it later. Um, and playing games on my phone. Last night I started a new book, A Test Garrison Playing With Fire, that's creepy already. Um, I, I read a few chapters of War and Peace, but I'm gonna get dressed and ready because we're going out with my brother for tea. Sunday's a really chilled day, we don't get dressed unless we go out. I got this today in the post. Beauty of Horror Tarot colouring book. Now you can buy a set of cards that you can colour and use, but I thought I'd get the book. So I saw this on somebody's channel when I was watching YouTube yesterday and I thought, yes, I have to have it. So, right, so yeah, love it. So I haven't even looked at it, it literally just arrived 10 minutes ago. So, so I'm going to have a look at that in a bit uh, while I'm getting ready. And I'm really looking forward to having a nice curry with my brother and my mum and Jennifer and Paul and Claire. My brother's wife, she's lovely. And yeah, it'll be nice. So, as long as we stay away from religion and politics, we'll all be good, because, yeah. Ugh. If you can hear, excuse me, any noise outside, next door's rebuilding his house again. If there's a why in the day, he's usually doing something. Don't mind, it's fine, but this has been constant from 8.30 this morning with little breaks every now and again when it's rained. And it's major because he's got scaffold, scaffolding up. I haven't actually been out there, so I'll, I'll have a look tomorrow. Won't be able to see much because he's got we've got a big high fence, which is great, but it's just so noisy. And it's Sunday and I just want to relax and chill and I don't want this noise. But hey, it is what it is, I'm going to get ready. I'll see you in a bit. Good night, and we've just come back from the curry house. It was lovely, we had a lovely time, didn't we, Jen? Jennifer got this little bird. Go and squeeze it then. It's a two-way from New Zealand. Yeah, it does two times if you press it one time. If you do it two times, then it will just go, like, four times? Mm, yeah, but it wouldn't do it straight away. Um, so Richard and Claire bought that over for New Zealand from her. Very nice, wasn't it? Let me show you It won't keep doing it like that. Now you have to do it again. It'll break it if you keep doing it too many times. That, that's enough now, put it away. Um, so we'll be seeing them again on Tuesday, uh, they come up to, well, Richard's coming up to start doing Mum and Dad's, well, Mum's garden now. Getting it all nice and tidy, so, Jen! So we can put it down, a chair and table out there so we can go and sit outside and Claire's going to come and play, I'll pick Jennifer up from school and she'll play with Jennifer while we do 
other stuff in the garden for mum. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now and that is this week. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. We'll do it all again tomorrow if I can be She's bothered. flying. Because uh, Jennifer's dicking a bird in my face. She's flying. Because everybody's heard about She's the bird. Flying He's flying back. yeah. He's flying back. To New He's Zealand. flying away. Fly away. <laughs> She's been playing with it all oh. through dinner. But dinner was lovely. Flying. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a bit warm tonight. <laughs>